G'day there everyone, it's Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this video where we are going to talk about Copilot in Power Automate and also a new action that is coming to the AI builder in Power Automate. And uh, we're actually going to have a first look at that and create a workflow uh, that uses um, this new action called Create Text with GPT. But first up, let's have a little bit of a talk about Copilot in Power Automate and what that is going to bring to the table for you. So you are going to have the ability to improve and iterate and create your workflows with AI-driven conversations. So having the ability to ask questions uh, and iterate and go backwards and forwards with uh, Copilot to actually not only just create your workflows, but also uh, enhance the way that they are built for you. It's going to sit inside Power Automate and help you with every single flow that you build or change. So not only from the creation process, but also iterate and improve on the actual workflow itself via this conversational experience. As you build, you're gonna be able to ask questions and get assistance right alongside and in the application itself. Using natural language, you're gonna be able to build and enhance the these flows. Now, an example that we can draw on right now is the describe it to design it capability inside of Power Automate that you may have already seen. So this is where we can start out with asking or uh, giving Power Automate an example of what we're trying to achieve and Power Automate will suggest a workflow and even create that uh, based on what we're asking it. So that's right, uh, ready uh, to test out right now. Uh, and then in addition to Copilot, and the focus of this video is a new AI builder action in Power Automate called Create Text with GPT. Now this is a pre-release um, action and it is in Gated Preview. Now I've been lucky enough to get access to this Gated Preview and we're gonna take a look at that in action in just a second. Now this is a text generation um, action and it's powered by Azure Open AI service and it's based on the GPT technology. We're going to be able to create powerful solutions and build you know, intelligence right into your business processes, either pre-existing processes that we've got or new processes that we build. Now, some of the scenarios that we might wanna look at um, uh, creating and incorporating are creating summarization tools that quickly and accurately summarize long documents and extract key information that is relevant to you and your business. We can create responses responses or response tools that, that help draft responses to end user queries. And that is the action and that is the process we're gonna take a look at today in this video. You, we can create a classification tool that can help classify text into different categories as well. Creating a translation tool that can accurately help translate text from one language to the other. Now the possibilities are truly endless. So if uh, you are wanting to have a look and keep up to date with what is coming uh, with this technology, make sure that you do follow along, hit the bell icon in LinkedIn, uh, and also if you are not subscribed to the Modern Work Collective Microsoft 365 uh, Boost newsletter, then head over to modernworkcollective.io and pop your email address in there because I have got a lot of content that is coming out uh, around this new technology, especially inside of Power Automate. So let's jump in and have a look at a demo of what is coming. So you can see here that I am on a, SharePoint team site, uh, I've called it information technology, and what I've done is I've added a Microsoft list, it is the issue tracker list. So what we're going to do and what we're going to build is a response um, automated process. So when a user adds uh, an issue, we are going to uh, create uh, an automation uh, to send back to that user using GPT. All right, so we can see here, it's just an out of the box. We've got a, an issue description field here that we're going to base our response from. So let's jump into Power Automate and we, we are going to create an automated cloud flow. Now we're going to use the trigger of when an item is created and we're gonna create that. 
First of all, obviously, we need to pass in the site and the list. So let's pass in the site address, um, which is going to be the information technology site. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab the URL and we will pop that manually in to uh, the site address. So enter custom, paste the address in the site address and we're going to choose the issue tracker. So we've got our trigger sorted. Now let's add a new step. So the new step is going to be using the AI builder. Now when we click on AI builder, here is the, this new action that we do have. Create text with GPT on Azure Open AI. So let's have a look at what we can do and what this action is all about. So we can see here that we need to pass in some instructions. So we've got the ability here to create our own instructions or start from some templates. So when I click on create instructions, you can see that we can try a template or we can write our own instructions. So if you've used ChatGPT, then you will be familiar with writing uh, text and natural language and allowing ChatGPT to come back with a response to what you're uh, asking it. So in a similar fashion, we are going to do that and build that process out. So we are going to choose for this example, and this video, we're gonna start from a template. So we are going to respond to a complaint. Let's have a look at what this gives us. So this model, we can see up the top here, is um, our, our prompt, let's say. So try to create a response in an apologetic tone to the text below. Now the text below is going to appear inside of this, um, this section down underneath. Be humble, be creative with the response. The response, if any, should restate the problem to acknowledge the issue. The response, if any, should indicate that the problem will be addressed shortly. Now, when the text below is less than a couple of words, the uh, answer briefly that you can't generate an answer. Okay, so that's the template of the prompt that we're going to use. We're gonna pass in the description inside of the start and end of text uh, brackets there. Okay, so let's use this instruction in the flow. We'll click the button, it's going to insert that into the instructions, all right? So now what we can do is using our dynamic value, we are going to replace this text um, inside of here. We are going to replace it with the description that is entered in to the issue, okay? So again, from the, the trigger above, we're gonna pass in the issue description, okay? So we're good to go. It's gonna pass this across. It's going to then generate uh, a response for us. Now, we're going to add a new step. So what we will do is we will add a an approval step inside or as uh, after this uh, response has been created, just for us to check before we send it across. So I'm going to par I'm going to create uh, an approval. So we'll select approvals, and then we will uh, start and wait for an approval. Okay, the approval type we'll just keep it nice and simple. We'll just go first to respond. Now. Uh, we will um, give this a the approval a title. So let's go new issue um, uh, created. Please review response. All right. So we'll give that the title. Let's assign that to the system administrator. So we will just pop the SA account in there. Now the details, what we're gonna do here is just so we can see what the issue, what the description was first, and then what the, t the, the generated automated response is going to be. We're going to separate this out. So let's put, and we'll respond here with the uh, issue description and we'll pop in here um, the issue description. So that was the initial issue description. So we'll just fix this up a little bit and we'll go, we'll enter and we'll pass in and we'll display the issue description. And then also we want to show the generated uh, automated response. So let's go automated response because we wanna to check to see that it's accurate. Because as we know, these things uh, do need some checking. Uh, it's not always 100% accurate. So let's have a look at the automated response. 
and we will pass in the text that was generated um, up above there. Okay, so we've got our approval. So let's now put in a new step and we'll put in a, uh, a condition and we'll say if the outcome is equal to approve, let's send that automated um, generated text back to the user that created the issue. Okay, so we are going to use the send email uh, action. So send an email and we will pass in the two is we will use the dynamic content from the person that actually created the item in the first place, which is here, created by email. Subject, uh, let's put in, and we'll put in the title of the issue. Um, and we'll just pop here, uh, submitted. Now in the body, let's put in the automated generated response. Okay, so again, what we are going to do here is pop in that text and we'll go enter, uh, thanks, and we'll go um, Contoso IT team. Okay, so we're good to go. Now I'm gonna leave this branch, the no branch uh, off in this example. So we'll just use the yes branch here. So let's save this item now and let's give this a test. Okay, so we'll save it. Then we will jump into the IT site. So we're now ready to test. So we'll just select test. We'll go a manual test in this case and then we'll jump across into IT and we'll create a new item, all right? So let's create a new item. Um, OneDrive is not syncing. And let's, I've got a pre-written uh, issue description. So we can see here, I'm having problems with my OneDrive for business not syncing. It's causing issues when I'm not working on the, um, where I'm not working on the correct version of the document. I've shared documents with others and they're making changes and they're not being reflected in what I am working on. So we've got an issue with OneDrive for business. I'm going to give this a, a priority. Let's assign this to Megan. Um, actually, we'll assign it to the system administrator, like so, uh, and then we will, let's just say the issue was logged by Megan. All right, so we are now good to go. All right, so I'm logged in as the system administrator. Let's save this now. All right, so we've now saved it. Let's jump back into our Power Automate flow, make sure that we are kicking things off. The flow's running, all right? So what we should see, so the item's created, it's generating, creating text based on uh, the issue description. And then if I jump into, um, into the email of the system administrator, because it should come through uh, to that mailbox, all right, so it's still creating and it's going to start an approval process. So we'll just wait for that to kick off. We can see that that has now started. So if I now jump back into the SA account like here and we'll wait for that email to come through um, and then that will give us the issue description. So we can see here, there's the issue description that we've got. Um, from the original item, and we can see the automated generated response here. So what uh, GPT has done here is give us an apologetic response. So I apologize for any inconvenience you're experiencing with your OneDrive for business, not syncing. Sounds like it's causing issues with a version of the document you're working on, as well as with changes that others are making that you are not seeing. I understand how frustrating this is, and uh, I will look into this straight away. Okay, so it's a pretty good summary, pretty good apologetic response that we can utilize now in our process. Okay, so I'm gonna approve that. We will submit that um, as approved and that will then complete this flow. All right, so it's going to then enter into this condition that will then trigger that flow um, and trigger that yes response down here and it's going to send that email. So I'll jump back into the SA account here here is the email that's being uh, sent back 
with that generated uh, response. So you can see, hi there, I apologize. And there is the inserted uh, auto-generated uh, dynamic content that has been uh, created by or the text that's been created by GPT and this new connector being inserted into the email that then gets sent back to uh, the person that created that issue in the first place, all right? So you can see there that the power of uh, this new action and the GPT technology uh, is going to provide some amazing solutions uh, and enhancements to our business processes and inserting some intelligence into that. We're going to be able to to build some amazing functionality here. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. So follow along. If you're not subscribed to the Microsoft 365 Boost newsletter, make sure you head over to modernworkcollective.io as I continue to explore the features and functionalities of this new action that is going to be coming to, uh, to Power Automate. So hope that brings you some value today, gives you a first look at the functionality um, and just start to spark some ideas and interest into what you can start think about uh, thinking about building in your processes. Thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you in the next episode.